Hello, Zbigniew Bukowski here and in today's episode we will be looking at web scrapping in Power Automate Desktop. We will be looking at how to create the web browser instance, how to scrap the data, uh, what errors you can occur during this process, how to extract this data to Excel and uh, how to uh, create a table out of this data, not only the hand-picked elements. So let's start. <music> Okay, so first action we want to do uh, to scrap a web browser is to create a web browser instance. So from the browser automation, I will go to the web form filling and launch new Chrome. I will launch new instance, not work on an existing instance. And for my, for, for my example, I will use the eBay.com and I will try to find Terraforming Mars, which is one of my favorite board games, and find different listings with the price and, um, and the item location. So I will just copy this URL, hop. Uh, in Windows State, I always like to use the maximized window because Sometimes you can have problems clicking, so clicking when the resolution is different. I always maximize the window state or minimize, depending on your example. I will use the wait for a page to load because I want to, uh, I want to overcome the errors when the web page is not loaded and you will start the scrap because this will generate an error so i always want to use wait for this page to load okay so it will produce a variable which i will just name the web scrap browser cool next i want to do the main action which is the which will be the extract data from the web page and in here, it will uh, open the pop-up with the um, with the parameters. First parameter will be my uh, browser instance, which I've already created in the first step. Web browser, browser. timeout is uh, is just if you have problems with connection, etc., or loading the page. Then it doesn't matter for me. I want to store this data in the Excel spreadsheet. What does it do? It means that after all this, uh, after this flow will, will run, the data will be extracted to an Excel spreadsheet, book one, which will give you the ability to work with this. Of course, it will create also the Excel instance variable, which means that you can then work with the Excel, depending on your example. We won't be covering this, this will, uh, just for uh, letting you know that you can spread, you can uh, save it as a variable or, 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 or an X. Great. So also you, you have here the information that bringing an actual web browser window to the foreground while this dialog is open will activate the live web helper. And what does it do? Let's just don't talk about it. Let's see it on the, on the uh, example. I'm opening my page. And I have my live web helper. This means that I now can uh, can scrap uh, all the information from the web page to see if it's working because sometimes it's bugging. You see the red border when you are uh, using your mouse when you are scrolling. Uh, so uh, sometimes when it bugs, you will need to just refresh or reset or re refresh the page, or in the worst case scenario, just um, relaunch the action in the Power Automate. Uh, don't uh, use the incognito mode because I found that sometimes it's bugging in the incognito mode. I don't know if it's only on my machine. I haven't uh, I haven't tested this on other machines. So just letting you know. So in here I want to uh, scrap all the text, all the prices with the currency items and, and so item location. First of all, let's start with the, uh, with the title. I want to extract the element value, the text. Cool. I want to also scrap the, the currency here. 
if I would like to scrap only the, the value without the currency sign, I can go to the advanced settings and in here you can see that we have for each of those value the CSS selector we are using. And we can use regex, which will be the form of limiting, limiting the, the element which I'm, I want to scrap based on the condition I, I just I will use. I'm already talking about regex in my split text um, on Power Automate desktop video. So go there if you want to uh, know more about regex. For now, let's just assume that this is the, mm, the way to, to limit our inputs, uh, sorry, our outputs. Uh, so mm, uh, it, it's, uh, it's more complicated than this, but uh, uh, just let you know that we have this option here. For now, I will just use it uh, with the, the currency option. Cool. And last one, uh, which I want to scrap is the text uh, with the country. Uh, uh, we can use regex to remove this from, but for now, this uh, for the sake. Oh, sometimes something is bugs up, or bug up, I think. Uh, but. Uh, Sorry, let's reset this. Let's go again. Hop, hop, and hop. Cool. Now it's working. Now we can see that we had a live error. Okay, so now uh, I want to click the finish. If I won't click the finish, then my scrapping will only scrap the, the one element. And I will end with Excel which only has the one line. So in order to avoid this problem, I want to tell the Power Automate desktop to use another uh, item, another element, another auction, which was set for the terraforming Mars. To do this, you can do it uh, in two ways. First of all, you can do it and change this for the table, which I do not re recommend because you simply you can go and use it by selecting the same element which you already selected from the different item okay So by selecting two elements, first uh, title and second title, the Power Automate desktop already know that it needs uh, to extract uh, records from uh, as a as a data table, not as a, a single a single line. So if I now click finish, let's click finish. Let's save it and let's run the flow. <laughs> we are scrapping in the lifetime. Let's see our Excel. Okay, great. As you can see, we already have 60 results with all the data we needed in our, our Excel. Okay, so this is it. This was the the simple example which showed you how to create a web scrapping uh, action on your uh, for uh, on your web browsers so hope this was helpful if yes you can you know sub like etc i have a lot of other content from power platform power apps power automated desktop see you zbigniew fukowski out